As you can see, this is the cucumber report which is generated on the Azure DevOps pipeline. Okay. Oh, you can see the features, the scenario, everything so we have as a cucumber report which is configured in the Azure DevOps pipeline. Hey, hello guys, welcome back. This is Viren Kumar. So today in this video session, I am going to discuss about the Cucumber HTML report configuration with Azure DevOps pipeline on the local agent. On my screen, you can see the few steps are there. Okay, we will follow these steps and then we can easily configure the HTML report on Azure CI pipelines. Now, before that, we will discuss like why the Cucumber HTML report is required. We have run some code that we want the evidence and the results okay and for that we want a a comprehensive report so that everyone can understand the test case execution part and the how much time is taken and the evidence so that we can have the a screenshot attached in the cucumber html report if we want to provide some custom data uh, application url and anything that you want to provide from your side that we can use through the cucumber html report before going to start this video i have one request to that please like share and subscribe my channel if you want the more videos on the cucumber html report please follow this channel and to understand this configurations part you can follow the steps one by one in this video if you skip any steps then you can use the logic behind that okay so let's get started this video the first i'm going to add the cucumber html plugin into the azure devops organization so for that you can log into your azure devops account and i hope you already have created one organization so if you are working with azure devops and under there we have the one project is there Okay. Before that, we will go to the organization settings. So select your organization and go to the organization setting. And under the organization settings, you have the one tab extensions. Okay. You click on the extensions and then you can click on the browse marketplace. So you can click on that. It will navigate to the extensions for where you can search the Cucumber HTML. So it will give you the result for the Cucumber HTML plugin. You can see on this green ones, okay, you need to install this one Cucumber HTML report. Okay. Cucumber HTML report is there and you can get it free. When you click on get it free, it will going to start downloading and it will going to integrate with the organization so you can select the organizations on which organization you want to integrate so this is basically based on the organization level not on the project level so we are going to select this organization now you can go to the extension part and when you're going to refresh this one it you will have the cucumber html report under the extensions install part okay so this is already integrated in my project so once you have done all these steps, you will you can see the Cucumber HTML report in this extension part. So this one step is done. Cucumber HTML plugin into the Azure DevOps organizations. Second step is we will add the JSON report plugin into the runner file. So for that we have to move to our Eclipse. Okay. So this is my BDD Cucumber project. Okay, and, and I hope you have already have the BTD Cucumber project which you want to uh, integrate into the Azure DevOps pipelines and for that you want to generate the Cucumber report. Okay. For now you can go to your runner class file. You can have the test runner.java files on my screen you can see and you have your uh, runner file so you can go to your runner class and there you can add the plugin. Okay, so this is the plugin you need to add. So if you want to generate the JSON files and for the Cucumber HTML report, we need this JSON report plugin. So you can add this JSON report plugin. If you don't want this HTML report, you can remove this report. Okay, and you can keep this JSON report. Okay, so you can add this JSON plugin as it is. 
and then you can save uh, your changes okay and now push this code to your github repository okay. so we for that you can use the git bash or uh, any tools which you are using to push the code into the uh, git repository so uh, this is my git repository okay GitHub integration. So we, I have my VDD Cucumber code on this uh, GitHub. So I hope you already have the code in somewhere. GitHub, Bitbucket, any source code repository management tool in the cloud. So we have the code here and there you can go to the uh, test runner file and in the test runner files we have the uh, JSON plugin is there. So we have the JSON plugin already there. I have already the code in my uh, GitHub account. So uh, once you have the code, BTD code in the GitHub, then you can follow the next step. So this is the prepare the pom.xml file to run the BTD test with my one command. What you need to do, you can go to your Eclipse and then you have the one pom.xml file. So you need to prepare the pom.xml file for that, I'm going to make the separate video. You can watch that video and you can follow the steps. But before going to run the BDD test in the cook uh, in the Azure DevOps pipelines, you need to check that if your Maven command is working here or not. Okay. So this is my pom.xml file, and for that, I'm going to uh, run the command file. Okay. So for that, you can run as a maven build or maven install or you can select the maven test okay. so once this command is executed that means your maven is working with this pom.xml file and your pom is perfectly fine to run the btd cucumber test you should remember that you are, you should not run the test through the test runner file as a junit test okay this file we need for the configuration part, but we are going to run the test through the pom.xml file. So now this pom.xml file is running, it's executing the tests. This is my feature files, okay. You can you see that on the screen, My this is my feature files where I have the uh, one step definition implementation for that. So we have the uh, three tests given by hand and when. Okay, we have the three tests under the one feature file. This is the one feature file is there. And for this feature files, we have some uh, scenarios there. So you can see that this is the one feature file. And for this one feature file, I have the one scenario. And for that, we have the three steps and the, the implementation for these three steps are here. So like that, you have some code in your bucket. Okay. And which is going to run. So now the build is success and your BD test is running fine. Okay. Now you can go and check that uh, your code is running and it's uh, uh, generating the JSON file or not. So for that, you can go to your uh, project location file is generated or not. You can go to the target folder under the target folder. I have provided the path. So now you I have the report dot JSON. So this file is generated and this file is required to generate the Cucumber HTML report on the Azure DevOps pipeline. So you can see that all the steps are in the JSON format into the JSON report. Now create the CI pipeline with the local agent. So on my dev.azure.com, I have these organizations. Okay. For that, I have integrated the Cucumber HTML uh, report plugin. Okay. Through the marketplace. Now we have the under these organizations, we have the one project, test Azure project. And under this project, I am going to create uh, one pipeline. You can go and create the one pipeline. So I'm going to create the new pipeline. I will use the classic editor to create the pipeline. Now I'm going to take the GitHub code because my source code is 
kept into the github account this is my github account so i want to refer the code directly from the github account so that's why i select the source as a github and there i want the permissions with connections uh, to get the connections with the github between azure devops so now i have the github connections 5 and how to create the connection between that i am going to make the separate video you can watch in that video and now i'm going to select the repository so we have all these repositories so where is our uh, code is placed is it's called the bdd test report so i'm going to select this one uh, you can see that code is placed into my bdd test report so my code is there so that's why i selected this repository name and default branch name is the master and then you can continue now you can select the empty job is there under the pipeline sections we have the test azure project ci pipeline demo report so you can change the name and under the agent pool i'm going to select the local agent a local agent is my <coughs> So as an agent pool, you can select the default or the local agent. The local agent is my local machines where I'm going to run. How to run the local agent? You can watch my uh, earlier videos. There you will get the idea how to configure the agent. Okay. So this part is done. Now you can save this one. Go to the get resource. It's done. Now the agent job is done. Okay. So, same thing you can keep here the agent job like uh, two. Okay, and you can inherit me from the pipelines, execution plan none, timeout zero, job cancel zero, and run these jobs only even if a previous job has failed. You can select these options. Okay, you can save these changes. Now we want the publish cucumber report. Okay. Before that, I want to build this project. So how to build this project? We can add the one task. So we can go to the Maven and you can add the task. How to add the task? When you have your job run on the agent, you can click on the plus sign. It will ask you to add the job or the task for this agent job two and when you click on this one the right side window will open and there you can search the maven and you will have the build it test and deploy with the apache maven you can add this one now the pom.xml file so display name maven pom.xml file pom.xml file goal is the package you can remove this jnu test result publish jnu test result you can remove these options Okay, and rest you can keep it as it is. Okay, now you can save this one. Now our build is ready. Now, once the build is done, after that, what we need, we want the report. Okay, how many test cases executed? So for that, we already have the plugin. We need to add this plugin as a task. So we can click on this plus sign again, and then you can type publish okay when you type this publish you will get the many options so you have this publish cucumber report and simply you can add this report next to the pom.xml file not the before the pom.xml file it should come always after the pom.xml file this is going to run the build maven is the build management tool once the build is ready we are going to display the report now uh, be careful about the publish cucumber report part okay so follow the steps display name you can keep it as it is now the input directory okay which is your input directory you can click on these three dots and you can go to the target folder under the target folder we have the cucumber folder okay and 
under this cucumber folder we have the report.json or report.html so you just select till the folder so we have the folder target cucumber so this part is done where your json report is going to generate it till there you can select this one and then you can do like this okay select you can provide now you have this one on the question this one you can click on it and click on the link and there you have the json directory okay so to json so under this json directory we have the name so what is your json report name report dot json okay so you can provide the name of that file report dot json you can select the setting input directory it then the pipeline parameter link to this setting is parameter dot json directory you can select these options display name your json file name and this is the value under target and cucumber then you can link this one now your output directory so again the same thing you want to do uh, you can select and i want into the target folder and uh, under the target folder i have the cucumber html report and in that part i want to show output directory and there you can link this is the output directory okay display name output directory and you can link so if you want to change the name like uh, cucumber.html and you can link this one now select the report theme okay so we have the four types of the report but in this video i'm going to show the boot strap this is the basic and the default report for this one and then you can check this report should i just scenario and you can select the report theme and again you can click on this and you can link these ones you can select the report theme parameters dot theme display name report theme and bootstrap the value now you can link it and you can select the report should as a scenario again you can click and link and you can everything keep it as it is and link it okay report name so what report name you want to display so we will display the cucumber html report for demo okay this is the name and you can link this one again this is the value report name and you can link it now the title what title you want to select so this is the html report So this is the HTML report, okay, and you can click on this one again. You can link. So report title HTML report, and you can link it. Okay, so these settings you need to do, and after that you can just save it. Okay, so your setting is saved. Okay, input directory, output directory, report theme, and your report name and the title. Okay. this part is done now let's execute this job okay so for that is simply on click on the q and you can select the pull default pull master branch and then we are going to run the report you have the agent job 2 is triggered you can get the all the information here there is only the one summary section is there if the cucumber report is generated you will have the tab name is the cucumber okay so i'm going to click on this job to check the everything is going to find or not first it will check out the code from the github or source code management in the local directory and this where is going to store so 
it will store at the agent so as of now my local machine is the agent so i'm going to this agent folder and uh, under the agent folder i have the work folder then i have task folder these are the tasks it is going to done and now i have the folder number five i report as and under that i have my project so it's downloaded the project from the github so it will check out now it's going to run pom.xml file okay so build is done okay pom.xml file is executed so build is successful okay test case is executed test run failure error 0 skip 0 Okay, now it's going to run the publish Cucumber report job. Okay, so agent job two is run successfully. We have the green indication for that. Now we can go to the job okay so you can see the cucumber tab is there okay and you can see your agent job to is successful you can ignore these warnings okay if your job is successful you can ignore these warnings now i'm going to click on this cucumber tab and there you can see the report so available reports cucumber html report for demo this is the name of the report which we have provided so Cucumber HTML report for the demo, it's the report name is coming and this is the title, HTML report. The title is coming on this side and the name of the report is coming on this side. And there the total number of feature file is executed and the failed ones, okay. So you can see the feature file is one is pass, one scenario is pass. When you scroll down, you have the features. So when you click on this one, you will have the scenarios there okay so one feature is there you can see the numbering is there now we have the three steps pass so under this one we have the three steps is coming here so this is how we can generate the cucumber html report but when you are running the this cucumber report job you will have some issues means sometimes you will get the token error sometimes you will you will not able to execute the cucumber that fixes i'm going to show in the next video series of this playlist okay now this is a bootstrap cucumber report type okay if you want the report in another format so we have the four type of the formats for the report Okay, we have this bootstrap now. So now if I want to change this one, what I can do, I want the hierarchy report format. So bootstrap and hierarchy. So I'm going to select this one and you can select link and link. You can save and queue. So again, you need to run the job. Let's see the, how the report is coming now. is the post job is completed the publish cucumber part is completed now we will go to a cucumber tab and we'll see the report is generated or not so we can click on this cucumber and then you can see the report now the report is coming in the hierarchy format again 